All right, guys, welcome back to All Things Outdoors, and today we are going to be taking a look at the white locusts. So, in the comments yesterday, I had a couple questions about the white locusts. So, today we're going to kind of clear up and answer those questions so that uh, you guys can do your own gardening with locust trees as well. So, let's get started. Be sure to watch this video to the end because we are going to be doing also how to harvest clippings. Alrighty, so here we are, kind of in this salt marsh with lots of mud, so apologize for that. Um, oh, here's a good branch. Okay, so here we are out here in the forest right next to this saltwater marsh, and we're out here, and this is the white locust tree. So they call it the white locust tree because, well, it has white blooms, and also this tree is actually another name for the black locust tree which is kind of a group of different locust trees. And they call this one the white, and this is the white locust variety. There's other colors. Um, and then there's also the honey locust tree, which is a tree, and they make these wonderful curly seed pods, I believe, but I'm not sure. A wonderful tree, absolutely love all the types of these locust tree, all three types that I just mentioned, so going to be looking where I can get honey locusts because I might be able to get and where I can get white locusts. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, this is the white locust tree. And I would say this is a great tree if you're looking to attract people to your garden because these trees have wonderful showy blooms. As you can see, the blooms are just stunning. They kind of look like little uh, wisteria blooms, but white. So, pretty cool. Not to mention, they have a wonderful smell to them. We're just going to grab a hold of this branch here. And smell the flowers. Mm, they have a very sweet smell to them. And the whole air around this area, because there's a lot of locust trees in this, air, in this area, the, the whole air around here kind of smells like sweet locust blooms. Kind of smells like white locust blooms. So, first we're going to talk about how to care for it. So... To care for this tree, you're going to want to have probably full sun to part shade. This will not need as much sun as some other types of plants, like a lupine. Those need a lot of sun. This will be fine with uh, full sun to part shade. So, yeah. And if you plant it, if it has too much shade, then it will either not, it will grow slowly and it will not, and it will most likely not bloom depending on how much sun you have. So, yeah recommend full sun apart shade um this tree probably gets that this tree gets a lot of morning sun and aft and midday sun so this tree gets plenty of sun um so and also this tree is fairly drought tolerant so that means that uh, you probably will not need to water it uh if it's a very dry spell where you haven't gotten rain for like quite a while like maybe a couple, like two, three weeks, then I would maybe water it once a week until you get rain, until you get significant amount of rain. Um, just to, you know, kind of keep it going. Now, and that's for smaller trees. Obviously, larger trees will not need to be watered as much because they will have more established root systems and they will be able to get water kind of from the soil because they'll have deeper roots. Um, but you could, But if it's really dry and you see your tree is starting to wilt, then I would most likely um, get, I would most likely do some water. Um, like maybe put the hose on it for like 20 minutes or something like that. And that would probably cut it just fine. Um, and your tree will probably do fine. So uh, the wood of this tree is very dense and very hard. So if you have a... Uh, if you have a dead locust tree, you could definitely cut it down and use it for firewood, and it will be great firewood. Don't do this with a live tree, because not only are the trees wonderful, live wood doesn't burn. Uh, it makes a lot of smoke instead of burning. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, now we're going to get on to the second part of the video. So now I'm going to teach you guys how to harvest clippings. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to kind of want to, you're going to want to um, kind of, you're going to want to look around the tree to see where the healthy, the health, oh, the fish, 
fish jumped over there. You're going to kind of want to look around to see the healthiest, where the healthiest branches are and where the good sides went. And you want upward facing branches, no downward or inward facing branches. Um, sideways facing branches is okay, but I would most likely do upward facing branches if they are available. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to kind of want to select the healthier branches. And you want to go for a length of six inches or more. And over here, I see we have a very nice, healthy looking branch. So we're going to break that off. And normally you would do this with cotters. So the tools you would need for the job are, you would need probably some cotters. Uh, I, did, I forgot to get my cotters, so we're going to do hand breaking. And we can just snip the end off later to give it a nice clean cut. As you can see, this is a very nice, healthy branch, double stem, which will give me probably most likely a double stem tree, which I'm fine with. I love double stems. Um, I'm a big fan of the double stem. <laughs> so, yeah. I love double stem. Here's another pretty nice looking branch. So we're going to get that one too. Looks like a little mini tree. We're going to get three branches. Um... See, where's another really nice, healthy looking branch? This one looks pretty healthy. Uh, hmm. Let's see a couple healthier branches. Um, let's see. I see that one over there, but that's kind of far away. Um, well, uh, gee, we're a little bit of a sticky situation here. Figuratively and literally. <laughs> uh, sticky mud. Ooh, sinking. Uh, I like that noise of the mud. Sucking mud. I just like that noise. It's kind of a nice noise. Um, ah. I think I found a good branch. Yeah, I did. We are gonna get this branch over here. Ugh. Very hard to break. It's flexible wood. Um, there we go. Perfect. Got our third clipping. So as you can see, we got some nice, healthy branches. Uh, very nice, very healthy. Got lots of growth. Very healthy in general. Lots of blooms which is a sign of healthy growth. And they look pretty nice. Um. So that's about it. Anyway, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and put that down in the comments below saying that you did that, and uh, you will get a shout out, and we will see you guys on the next adventure.